This cinematic exposes how unpolished the parkour really is. Drop the critters, Eggman! The way that line was delivered makes me cringe. <laughs> if you insist. Whoa, that's harsh! Ow, the edge. What the hell was Sonic trying to accomplish there? Even if he did somehow free the animals inside, they fall straight to their deaths. He must really love those things! No, he's just not a heartless f like you. Eggman never uses this gun again for the rest of the game. You really thought it'd be a good idea not to keep an eye on Eggman? He's sort of attacking you. Whoa! What's that in the clouds? That must be the lost hex! Which I know because video game. We interrupt the Sonic game to bring you the poor man's Minecraft trees. Sonic and Tails will get your We're buddies okay. back! Ew, Amy's voice. Sounds like Minnie Mouse sucked helium. I would have gotten them all back by now! Save the rest of them! What are those animals doing with Knuckles? The set designer is like, pfft, who needs effort where you can just slap on basic textures and simple lighting? You are quite a mighty conquer. I conquered you, didn't I? How did you even conquer the Zeddy in the first place? I know this is supposed to be a simple story, but you should at least explain some of the basics, like in the last sin. But no, that would get in the way of the quote-unquote comedy. And with your help, I'll not only rule the world. Of course! Did you guys really need to hide the rest of the Deadly Six? What's the point of concealing them if they're on the front cover? For a secret lair, you think they would lock the exit or something. Pretty close. Oh, I'm gonna have to bring in my A-game! How come the cutscenes have subtitles when the in-game dialogues don't? The game's sound mix often makes it hard to hear their dialogue. She's getting pretty close. I'm gonna have to bring in my A-game if I wanna mop the floor with his spiny butt! Sonic doesn't have a spiny butt. His spine stop halfway down his back. You were lucky this time! According to Zaz, lucky equates to an easy boss battle. Conveniently placed shadows hide the villains we haven't seen yet. This is like something out of a bad horror movie. I didn't know the Zeddy could break the laws of light. I know the perfect spot to take care of you. That's funny, because I know the perfect spot to kick you! Is it sad that I can picture Roger Craig Smith yelling, I'm gonna kick your ass! Yes it is. Damn you, Roger. Here's your sin for your troubles. I've been dreaming about pounding his sorry blue butt! How do they even sneak this in? Hashtag edgier than shadow. Alright, we good to go or what, Tails? I've built a TV out of paper clips. Yeah. And reprogrammed a supercomputer using dishwashing detergent and a toothpick. I don't think it's even possible to construct those gadgets with the materials you've had. Fixing a propeller on a biplane? That's about as difficult as taking a nap. Eggman shot the wing, not the propeller. There's no need to fix the propeller. Okay, I didn't need your whole life story. A simple good to go would have been cool. That was a d thing to say. Sonic is a d to Tails. You, fat one! You speaking into a mirror, Eggman? Oh! Zaz is a fighter, Zamam is a fatty. I'm starting to smell stereotypes. I love how the CGI cutscenes are a hundred times better than the in-game cutscenes. Oh, oh yeah, that's the stuff! Uh, robots don't have proper mouths, nor can they drink. Also, how come none of that liquid is spilling onto the floor? Hey, I forgot the mustard! I'll be right back! Hey, where do you think you're going? Looking for a better plot, I presume. Oh man! I can't believe he made it this far! He's gonna make me look bad! I mean, worse? Is that even possible? Sorry, bruh, but he already made you look bad in the preceding cutscene. Sonic! Uh, I think that thing in Eggman's hand is gone! Main character rashly kicks a MacGuffin in the air cliche. Eggman's shell is gone! When is it a mistake to take your toys away? When it's the only thing keeping six angry Zeddy from controlling my mechs! <laughs> <laughs> The Zeddy are psychokinetic now? Since when? Sonic could easily wipe out all of those minions with his multi-homing attack, but because this is a cutscene, Sonic will only attack a few badniks before retreating with Tails. Also, these robots must have been designed by the First Order or something. Why are the Zeddy attacking Sonic still? Wouldn't it be easier if they joined Sonic and Tails in taking down Eggman? Eggman is somehow able to catch up with Sonic. My cacophonic conk was the only thing keeping those six maniacs in check! Who pronounces conch as conk? I control those powers with the conk until Sonic punted it away with his typical stupidity. Oh, get lost, Eggman, and let us get things under control. I'm gonna say this right now. Just like in Sonic Colors, the writing is absolute horse. Granted, it's slightly better than Colors, but that's not saying much. 
I have three big issues with the story. For one, the comedy f***ing sucks. The writers tried way too hard to be funny. Instead of letting the jokes be delivered naturally, they just force them in. And they treat the players as if they were the dumbest heads on the planet. What we get is cringeworthy comedy that's so bad it makes me want to drown myself in laughing gas. Secondly, the voice direction for Sonic is god-awful. Every line out of Sonic's mouth is forced, and none of his delivery feels natural. At least with the other voice actors, they didn't make him unlikable with the material they were given. And finally, Sonic's a huge, unrelenting p in this story. He destroyed the magic conch that was keeping the Zeddy under control, accidentally knocked Tails into a trap, trusted Eggman more than Tails, and scolded Tails like once or twice in the story. Those moments make up a character you just want to see get beat up. Every time he spouts a one-liner, I just want to punch him in the face. Oh, and one more thing, Roger Craig Smith. That will be ten sins, please. It would seem the peaceful days of tending my garden will have to wait. Discount Yoda, or any Japanese film instructor, inspiration, or mentor. <laughs> you, it's truly wasted on me. Speed cannot defeat wisdom. Speed cannot defeat wisdom on what account? No, Sonic beat you because your boss fight was as easy as fruit balls. But the rebellious swine have gotten hold of a device of mine. Uh, what was it designed for, Doctor? Cubot <coughs> has projector eyes because plot. Oh, so that's what Amy was talking about. And you just want to go smash it, don't you? <laughs> well, yeah. <sighs> what? It's what I do. Tails isn't punching Sonic in the face in this scene. I need to get to the machine and reprogram the shutdown sequence. Or you could just sever the power or something. I'll supply the brains. You will supply the brawn I need to get past the Zeti. Oh, and you're asking so nicely. <laughs> Good one, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. Man up, Tails. Eggman should be saying this to Sonic instead. Whoa, overcompensate much? Reference? <laughs> reference. Also, fancy lights in a mostly dim room equals overcompensation. Tails, we need Eggman to shut down his machine. And you don't trust me to do it. What? No! I trust you, Tails. It's just that... No, you don't. You trust Eggman more. Yeah, how come you trust Eggman more than Tails? With the wild and gigantic world of technology that we, and I'm sure the Sonic characters as well, live in, I'm more than positive that Tails doesn't know absolutely everything about technology. With that in mind, there are also all sorts of ways to program things. What I'm trying to say is, Tails would most likely not know how to turn off a machine programmed by someone else who has a much different style. I do trust you, Tails, but the whole world's in danger because I did something stupid. Damn right you did something stupid. You know how much that bites? Actually, nothing bites more than having to listen to this dreadful conversation. More like this dreadfully <laughs> script. Also, I'm giving this game 10 more sins for its <laughs> writing. Long hair, feminine eyelashes, pink nails, this is an orgy of evidence that Xena is a girl. Also, every girl in existence stereotype. Why are you still here? I'm just getting ready. Well, you seem to be taking your time. Well, it is my time to take now, isn't it? Xena has the personality of my ex-girlfriend. It's cute the way he keeps on trying to get past all the death attacks and enemies and stuff. I think he kind of likes me. Thanks for encouraging the fans, Sega. I'm gonna need a Manny, a Petty, and an avocado facial scrub after this poor day. We get it, Sega. Xena is a girl. Stop rubbing it in. Ooh, that was cool. Pun entirely intended. Geez, Sonic, your puns are almost as bad as your voice actor. Also, f you, Sonic, and f your lame ass pun. That will be 100 sins, please. Uh, I know this is a lost world, but electrical ice projection is not and will never be a thing. I must commend you on your invention, though. We get stronger and stronger as we leech the life from your dying world. Yet your boss battles are easy as hell? I think that machine is making you weaker. Actually, I think it's doing it to the story, too. I will burn your worlds, you rebellious scum! I will destroy everything you love and make you rot! No! 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 I'm removing one sin for this moment. We rarely see Eggman angry like this. It's too bad moments like this are few and far between in the games. As long as I can still strangle a Zeti, my hands are fine. Ow! The edge. The last time we met, you ruined my nail art. Now I have to reapply a whole new coat. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Mm -hmm. I am so, so sorry. Oh, well, in that case. 
Oh no, what I meant to say is, I'm so sorry that you have nothing more important to do in life. All I want to do is chill, but here comes that fashion master head. Those shoes are a trick, and the white gloves are ridiculous. I appreciate the self-awareness in this game, but it's not enough to save this god-awful story. Now you wouldn't hurt a lady, would you? You wouldn't hurt a lady, cliche. I am getting tired of lugging your head around, pal, so I made you a snowbot body. Uh, I can't feel my legs! Considering the fact that you're a machine, you shouldn't be able to feel anything anyways. True! <laughs> your robots are a reflection of your genius, Dr. Eggman. Truly, your horrible ideas are a reflection of your genius, Tails. Of course, there'd be some collateral damage, but- Collateral damage? What kind of monster- Tails! Well, this is odd. I can't figure you out. One second you're contemplating genocide, and the next you're saving one of your worst enemies. I'm a complicated guy. And you! What were you thinking, Tails? You could have gotten yourself killed! I was just trying to help. Sonic is a dick to Tails. Does Eddie use video downloader? Oh god, please don't tell me this is a reaction video. The Fine Brothers will shut Lysander and I down. Oh god. Must have missed this one. Sonic! It's a trap! It's a trap! Sidekick sacrifices himself to save his friend from danger, cliche. I'm supposed to be the fastest, but I was too slow to save my buddy. You're too slow! Sigh. Who literally says the word sigh? You do the action, not say the word. Also, we interrupt this game to bring you Emo the Zeddy. This pose. Somebody messed up royally because we don't have Sonic. Late character brings in the news that we already knew cliche. If we don't find your friend, can I be your sidekick? What? Shut up! No need to be a d Sonic, he was just asking. It's too late for us, Sonic. I'm sorry, I never got to say. Amy! Knuckles! Transmission ends before an important revelation cliche. That fat ass is still eating? How long are they gonna run with this joke? I've built a TV out of paper clips and reprogrammed a supercomputer. What? A tail does not have any possible bones. Most animal tails consist of a single, if not a few, bones, blood cells, and muscle. What I'm trying to say is, a tail is not a hand. That's stupid. You guys are going down! Knuckles? Anybody? This cutscene literally serves to establish that Sonic has no one left to turn to, but isn't that what the game has been doing all along to this point? Oh, I'm getting tired of you guys. Sonic mirrors my reaction. Don't you remember Fine Bros trademark to react? Oh sh Before they take us down, let's give them a million sins. Good idea, mate. I know this is unrelated, but with all the bullshit copyright drama on YouTube and its pretty crappy copyright system, we're going to give it half a billion sins. Tails? This design foreshadows the creation of Sonic Boom. Tails' eye turns from grayish blue to light blue because movie. Oh crap, did we just make an I hate everything reference? Destroy Sonic. Also, surprising betrayal isn't surprising because of what we saw earlier. Now it's time for me to do my job and shut this baby down! It is off! Who could have done that? Me, of course. Fake villain death was just a play cliche. And now, my ultimate weapon is complete! This ultimate weapon is just a slightly modified colors boss. The only thing that's gonna get conquered is your face, Eggman! That was the worst retort I have ever heard in my entire life. I'll find another conk, and the Zeti will be mine once again! <laughs> Honey, why isn't my jetpack working? Maybe because I borrowed the exhaust hose? How convenient, and by convenient, I mean really convenient. I don't care if two of these guys worked on Happy Tree Friends, all of them deserve 15 cents for their insufferable writing. Ow, ow, ow. Ah! Eggman somehow survived this fall. Just for the lulz, I'm giving this story a hundred, no, f it, a thousand sins for its f
this story. Now on to the gameplay sins. The Wisps serve no purpose but to be as stage gimmicks. Most of them slow the game down and they feel like an afterthought. The parkour is fun, but the game does an extremely poor job of telling you how to use it. The hint system of this game was screwed up for no reason. Instead of walking into a hint ring, you have to touch an icon on the gamepad and look at it from there. It kills the pace of the game. Not just that, but the hints themselves are often vague and they don't explain things clearly enough. The boss battles are way too easy. Hell, some of them can even be beaten in under 30 seconds. The homing attack chain doesn't always work, sometimes it only targets when it feels like it. Even if it needed to work, why was it changed? It's been the same since 1998. Did someone really need to reboot a friggin' gimmick? But hey, at least the soundtrack was nice. Yeah, it doesn't make up for the crappy gameplay sins. Are you kidding me, Dan? The soundtrack is freaking amazing. It deserves five sins removed. A few of the levels drag on for way too long. Examples include 5-4, 6-4, and 7-3. The game consistently slows down from all this needless filler, some of which include cloud jumping, these spider robots, the mid-level turtle boss, these platform floating lava sections, fruit rollers, and many more I won't bother to mention. Some of the zones don't fit with their respective areas, like 2-2 and 2-3 being in desert ruins, and 3-3 being in frozen factory. The overall level design is all over the place. There's three kinds of levels, 3D generation style, 2D only style, and gimmick levels. The first kind is well-designed levels that are fun to experience. The second kind ranges from pretty decent to mediocre. Some of them are acceptable while others are forgettable. The last kind ranges from bad to insufferable. There are the worst stages in the game, but if they were removed, then I would have had a much better experience. Speaking of level design, this snow boulder level is completely unnecessary and does not fit with the rest of the game. Frozen Factory Act 2. All of it. It controls like a knockoff monkey ball game. Ice physics. When you hold down the right trigger and press A, Sonic does an aerial spin. The problem is you can't do a regular jump or the homing attack. You have to let go of the trigger in order to jump or attack like normal. Why can't you spin dash on ice? This hasn't stopped Sonic before in Sonic Adventure 1. I have one problem with this minigame. One problem. Sonic often blends in with the rest of the objects. It's really hard to see Sonic with all the animals in the way. Not even Sonic's glowing aura can help you see where he is. This entire zone is a slightly harder version of Windy Hill. Totally unoriginal. This flying stage. Not only are the controls that are crap, but it's also one of the worst stages in the game. Also, the fact that it exists. The hidden world is nothing but three quarters of crap levels. This level is just a Rubik's Cube with a few block enemies. Probably one of the laziest levels in the game. Okay, this level isn't that bad. I just wish we got something like this with Eggman's inventions instead of... Gah. Although I will take off a sin for its catchy remix. Bland level aesthetic, bland design. This level is overall bland. Who the hell thought this level was a good idea? A furry Pac-Man? Seriously? Not only that, but the level's overall design is bull For starters, it's an auto-scrolling level. Secondly, if you hit the edges of the screen, you die instantly. And thirdly, it's one of those jump off spheres and avoid crap levels, one of the worst types of levels that anyone can think of. In short, it's one of the levels in the game. We interrupt this game to bring you a boss rush. Gah! Who thought this was a good idea? These f***ing bombs deserve 10 sins! These bomb carts set up unnecessary difficulty spikes for newcomers. You will die multiple times because of them. However, when you get used to this level design, the level is actually kind of fun. It's fast paced, it keeps you on your toes, and the music is lovely. This questionable decision ruins it for the first timers. The stealth sections in the level are not challenging and aren't well implemented. What the f***? Mother of this? Slicers just feel like whooping on other games now, huh? There's a level where you can literally farm lives, and you know what the best part is? Every time you die, the items collected respawn in the same spots. This means you can collect lives infinitely. How did Sonic Team not take this into consideration? The fact that you can't homing attack in the dark even when you see your enemy. You can't home in on the spiders until they have unleashed their attack. While this level is lacking in charm, the music makes up for it. Since Dragon Dance is one of the best written scores for this game, I'll take off five sins. The multiplayer is barely worth mentioning. It's not bad, it's just not particularly memorable. 
The co-op is an afterthought. You play as Sonic, and another unlucky soul controls an RC vehicle. These vehicles don't really do much. You're not going to bother using this mode. Even Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 had better co-op than this. If enabled, this game gives you item power-ups that you can use in-game. There's a few problems with it. You'll often forget about the items you've received. Not only that, but trying to use them in the game requires you to take your eyes off the TV and onto the gamepad. And trying to use these items is awkward and out of the way. Why the hell are fruit rollers a gimmick? Were the developers on crack or something? The question mark stages are just pointless fodder, don't even bother with them. Why the hell was there a build-up system for the homing attack? Was it really necessary to complicate a simple mechanic? How? How the f*** is the final boss easier than the one from Sonic Colors? That's ridiculous! Also, it's nothing but a slight modification of Sonic Colors' final boss. Ironically, this is the only level I enjoyed on Lava Mountain. The rest of them are an endurance test. Zelda and Yoshi Zones, literally just an advertisement from Nintendo that shows how easy it was for Sonic Team to make the levels in the first place. Change the assets, change the textures, boom, new level. Actually, send the fact that the Zelda DLC level is the best level in the game. Yes, it's free DLC, but it's DLC nonetheless. And since it's licensed by Nintendo, it won't be available for the people who bought Sonic Lost World on Steam. Unless modders have something to say about it. I love how this level teases you with the castle you'll never get to visit. So they made DLC for Zelda, Yoshi and Knights, but none for Mario? How did they miss such a golden opportunity? I would have loved to run around Good Egg Galaxy in a Mario costume. Most of this level is essentially a boss run, but at least it's short. Is it just me or does this remind me of a much better game? Finally the biggest sin of all, the run button. The one feature Sonic had that distinguished the series from being a Mario clone was the fact that you can build up speed. It was a reward. Do well on the level, you get to play it fast. It's because of that that the Sonic franchise took off in the first place. By giving him a run button, you're literally taking the one feature that made Sonic unique. And that is unforgivable. Lysander, add 23,000 sins. Will do, Dan. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, check out our previous collab videos on Colors and Rise of Lyric. Remember, no hedgehogs were harmed in the making of this video.